What's up YouTube, ODSD General back again, and today we've got another Operation Trebuchet news update, guys. Uh, obviously it's been a little while since the last one due to my move here. Uh, this one's going to be pretty rough editing too, for the same reason I'm still getting settled in and there's some other stuff going on uh, once again, which I'll talk about in a, uh, a vlog or something here soon, so... Um, yeah, anyways, let's jump into it. So, uh, starting off with the, uh, the oldest stuff first, and of course, Operation Trebuchet, uh, news. We've got the Sparrowhawk, which we've gotten a couple more images of the Insurrection variant. Now, these were shared some time back. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I moved, so, yeah, I'm just getting to showing this to you guys now. Um, good looking unit. You know, um, very interesting uh, nose art or whatever you want to call it. It's not really on the nose, but uh, yeah. Anyways, that's uh, that's pretty neat stuff. Uh, beyond that, we've also got a look at the updated Grizzly tank. Uh, of course, this is just a rendering that we're looking at here. So uh, really awesome looking model changes and stuff that they made, whatever they did. Um, I've heard the scaling's actually not changing. I, I was told that the model was being redone to, to uh, scaling and stuff, but it sounds like it's just model changes, updates and stuff like that, and a new texture. Um, beyond that, we've got the um, Stanchion Rifle, which is being worked on by Jedi Nick. Uh, we've seen this before, although this is a nice... Uh, high-resolution rendering that we've got with one of its uh, rounds of ammunition here. Uh, pretty cool weapon. I was really hoping that when we got the Stanchion, we'd get the comic book version, which is like this big static weapon that has to have a generator because it's so ridiculously powerful. Uh, I do apologize about the cat guys. He's been going nuts. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have walls or a door behind me either currently that I can just like put him out of the room. Um... Beyond that, we've got a slight look at the scythe. This is a, a partial model upload of it, a partial rendering uh, that we're getting. I think uh, Bacon Shelf is working on this one. This one he just put out, and I should remember that, but like I said, it's been chaotic for me, guys, so I do apologize. Um, Good-looking weapon, but we already kind of knew that, so um, yeah, hopefully we'll get uh, another look at it before too long here. Uh, switching over to, uh, side mod side of things, we've only got OpCan news. There has been a bunch of other mods and stuff, but I haven't really had the opportunity to look at any of them, so I don't know if any of them have done, like, anything really crazy. Um, there's so many different things going on with side mods, I just can't really keep track of all of it right now. Um, I did update my mod list, though, guys, which you can find in the info, uh, down below. It's, like, the first link on there, I do believe. There is a thing for just a whole bunch of different Operation Tribution missions and mods and stuff like that. Uh, if you have not already done so, check that out. Uh, there's a ton of mods on there. There's some really cool stuff. I include descriptions of roughly what the mod is, things of that nature. Uh, anyways, getting back on track to the news, we've got uh, Opcan, like I said here. And so we've got uh, his insurrection weapon. I forget what he's calling the weapon. Um... This is based off the HMG-38, which is, of course, already in the Optray mod. So he's renamed the weapon, but this is actually what it's based off of is the comic book version. It's a little bit more um, accurate to what we see, minus the uh, the side-loaded magazine, which is, um, you know, I guess something that's not really a big deal because you don't really see the magazine, so I guess it's not unreasonable to think uh, it's either there or in the grip. Um, we've got, of course, a whole bunch of images of, uh, custom textures as well as the new, um, head pieces and stuff like that that go into the night vision goggle slot. So we've got, uh, the sniper, uh, head piece that he's showing off in a lot of these. Um, we've got some, I think these are the new insurrectionist faction. I'm not really sure. Uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, I saved these in the middle of the move, so I don't really know what a lot of these are. We've got some images of him just basically kind of testing out the uh, CBRN gear from Contact, along with some of his new textures and uh, armor textures that he's working on. Uh, most of the textures we've shown off previously were just for the uniforms, not the armor, so the armor is going and getting a uh, once-over as well. Um, we're also getting a lot of different, uh, ODST textures that he's been working on here too. So we've got like desert variants and we've got uh, different 
you know, black variants and stuff like that. Sorry, guys. The cat's trying to jump up on the desk here, like right by the microphone. So I do apologize if you guys pick that up. Um, and just, yeah, just more glory shots of the different versions and stuff. It looks like we've got some uh, army infantry and uh, different textures and stuff like that. Um, I think I've got the same screenshot on here a couple times, too. Yeah, more ODST. So then the next big interesting thing is, of course, we've got the uh, the Halo Wars turrets. Uh, this was something that was supposed to get included uh, previously in Opcan, but uh, of course, with Burgess's computer getting corrupted and him losing a lot of his files, this was one of the things I do believe he lost. Um, he is going back and he is, of course, redoing it. Now, we've talked about this previously, I think, once or twice, maybe, but uh, just, of course, another look at those models here. Uh, he's gotten a little bit further on the modeling. Uh, still got a long ways to go as far as like texturing and, of course, implementation into the game being probably one of the toughest aspects of that. Um, and just a game screenshot for comparison of the of the turrets here. Uh, beyond that, of course, we've got some uh, side-by-sides of the different camouflages and units. Uh, some with the ODSTs, and then, yeah, that's everything, guys. So, uh, of course, like I said, there is always new news coming out about Optrade and stuff like that. Um, with all this stuff going on right now, it might be a while before I get another video out. I'm not exactly sure what's going to be happening here over the course of the next week, so I'm going to try and throw this thing together as fast as I can, get it out and ready to go today if possible since uh, tomorrow's Friday. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens after that point. I'm going to work on a vlog today, too. That's kind of describing what's going on and then... Uh, I'll probably save that and just base that off of, uh, I guess, whatever I end up doing here. So, anyways, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.